am lucky. I am going to keep this butterfly forever in my glass jar. Oh, don't do that, Jimmy. The butterfly won't be able to live in the glass jar for long. Why not? My stone collection is also in a glass jar. Stones are non-living things. They are fine in the glass jar. But butterflies and other living things have needs like air, food, water and a place to live. Okay, I'll leave the butterfly, but you will have to tell me more about this. Deal. Here it flies away. Very good boy. Okay, now tell me, what do you mean by the needs of living things? Hmm. Living things like plants and animals need some important things to be alive in life. I am a living thing too, ain't I? Yes, of course you are. And the basic needs that you have are same as other living things like a rose plant or an elephant. How is that possible? Let me explain. The first most important need we have is air. All living things need to breathe. What happens if there is no air? Why don't you try to hold your breath and see? Oh, I was not feeling well. See, you needed to breathe just as a rose plant or an elephant. Hmm, what about fish? Are they living things too? Hmm, good question. Fish breathes the air which is dissolved in water. Oh, that's cool. So all living things need air. I get that. What else? All living things need energy from food and water. That reminds me. I am hungry. Thank you. You see, food gives us energy. Different living things get energy in different ways. I know. Different animals eat different things. You are a smart boy. Do you know what a rabbit eats? Yes, carrots. And a cow? Grass. Very good. How about pandas? I read it somewhere. Pandas eat bamboos. Super. What about birds? They eat seeds and worms. Ew. <laughs> now tell me, what do plants eat? Plants, they eat, um, I think, no, uh, 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 okay, I don't know. Can you please tell me what do plants eat? Plants take nutrients and water from the soil and light from the sun to make their own food. Wow, that's so cool. Sure it is. Remember, water is very important for life as well. Yes, I feel very thirsty. That is why I always keep a water bottle with me. Air, food, water. Is there anything else that living things need to survive? Indeed, there is one last thing. Close your eyes and imagine with me. Okay. Imagine a tree and some more trees. Imagine a river flowing by and lots of bushes and shrubs. Now imagine a polar bear there. That's not right. How can a polar bear be here? Yes, you are right. A polar bear cannot live in a forest. It's not the right place to live for a polar bear. How can you make the picture right, Jimmy? Well, how about putting an elephant or a gorilla or even a monkey there? Ah, 
Absolutely. Each living thing needs a place to live that is right for it. What kind of place does a polar bear need to live? I know, some place really, really cold. How about this? Not right. Mango trees don't grow in deserts. And how about this? That's okay. A cactus can live in dry and hot deserts. Cool. So tell me, Jimmy, what does a living thing need to live? I know. A living thing needs air. And energy from food and water. And a place to live in. I think the butterfly is saying good job, Jimmy. <laughs>